Hey, it's Catherine here. All right, I wanted to show you the diamonds that come with this particular kit. This is the Brilliance Canvas that Diamonds on Canvas is going to be carrying. I'm opening soon. I'm carrying three types of different canvases. This is the main canvas, though, that um, I will be carrying. And um, so I wanted to show you the diamonds, but not like, like show you them yet, you know, not in detail. Um, what I want to show you is kitting up. So kitting up a diamond painting is just that, just getting it ready to diamond paint, getting yourself ready, getting your, you know, organized so that you can diamond paint. This particular, um, these kits that I uh, will be carrying, they come, right, they come already in a plastic bag, the diamonds, and they already have numbers on the bags. So you could actually just start diamond painting. You could take these, you could lay them out on the table or wherever you're working, and whenever you need number, you know, uh, 24, then you just get number 24. The problem with this though is that this gets messy. So it starts getting, it starts, you know, you start, the bags get messed up. If you leave it in the plastic bag that it came in, again, once you start pulling it out, right? They just start moving around and it gets messy. So if you're like me, you want a little bit more organization than that. It, otherwise it frustrates you, right? So you could do, what you could do is take these plastic bags that are already numbered and you can get like a fishing lure box, right? And there's 21 slots in this box. And what I did is I just took two at a time, right? And I stuck them in one slot. So this particular kit has 45 colors. So, you know, if it's got 21 slots, you stick, you know, two or three in each slot, then, you know, one is enough. Or if you want there to be a little bit more room because these, some of these are pretty chunky, right? They're pretty big. So you're probably only gonna be able to fit two or maybe even one, right? Depending on how, like I said, like number 27 here is a pretty thick um, uh, baggy, right, of diamonds. So anyways, that's a lure box and you can keep track of them that way and that way they're not all over the table and you can, you know, they're pretty organized, right? You can find what you're looking for. Or what I do when I'm working on a big painting like this, this is what I do. So I have these canisters, and you're probably wondering what this is, or you may already know what this is, this piece of paper right here. What I did is I took a picture of the key, right? Interrupting for just a second, so you can see that I printed out the key, and then I cut it up, so there's strips of the key that will go on the canisters coming up here quickly. So I printed the key out. My printer ran out of color. Otherwise, these would be, these would have color. But I took it, right? I took that and I, I stuck it on each canister. So you can see that the number six, so that would correspond with, we'll pull out, we'll pull out the number six. I think it's right here. So I would stick this in this canister. Now what you're seeing here, and if you're familiar with diamond painting, I probably don't even need to be telling you this. Sorry about the lighting. But this over here, so this right here, this 333, that's a DMC code. So that identifies that particular color. This is the symbol that you're gonna find on the painting. So you know that number six goes over number six. That's not always the case. Like for instance, 22. So you'd find 22 like the number, um, we'll find it. So we're at 21 and, and they're already a mess. So here's 22. So I'd stick 22 in this canister and that tells me right here, DMC code 809, which is that blue, right? And then the letter P. So on the painting, there is the letter P and you're gonna stick that diamond on the letter P. So, um, it's cooler when they're in color because they just grab your eye better. But anyways, that's what I did is I cut out the key and then I just took a piece of tape. So, you know, regular tape, like tape that you would use, you know, if you were wrapping a gift or something. 
And I just, in and, and that way, you can reuse these canisters. You just pull off the tape when you're done with the painting. You just pull off that tape and, you know, they're fresh to go for another painting. Um, but anyways, I wanted to show you these canisters. And it, it, it's important that when you're kitting up, and you're putting a bunch of diamonds in, you know, some type of storage like this, you want it to be easy to get to. So these are plastic and they're easily, um, as you can see, I'm doing this with one hand, they're, you, you can easily unscrew them and screw them back on and they stay secure. But if you get something that has like, um, like a snap to it, you're risking spilling the diamonds. So when you go to open up the canister or that snap canister, you're risking spilling the diamonds that you have in the canister. And if you've been diamond painting, you'll know that you never ever want to spill your diamonds. If you spill them on the floor, yeah, you can get them back up. If you spill them on carpet, yeah, you can get them back up with the vacuum or whatever. But you're also getting a whole bunch of fuzz and hair and not to be gross but it's true you know our floors aren't like a hundred percent clean right all the time and there's always something that a vacuum is going to pull up and you're going to have a bunch of garbage mixed in with those diamonds you don't want to do that i've done that so um sometimes it's better off you're better off to take the time and just do something like this that way you can't you know, you can't spill your diamonds. Just get something like this. I believe I got these on Amazon. Um, I thought they were $9 a piece. And, you know, I mean, it's, you only buy it one time though, right? Like I said, you just take the tape and you just pull it off and that's it. And so you can start all over with, with another kit. Um, again, or, right, you can use kind of a tackle box thing. So anyways, I just wanted to share that with you. And, um, you know, kidding up is not the funnest part of diamond painting, but um, it definitely getting organized so that it stays fun. Because if you do it this way, it's going to get messy and you're going to get, you know, you're going to get frustrated. You can't find I'm what start you're looking for. doing this diamond painting finally. And I can't wait to do this again. This is the brilliance um, canvas and the way they stamped these canvases right? This particular canvas is way different, way, way different than what they normally do with diamond painting. And so if diamond you're interested in knowing why this canvas is um, so different or how it's different or why it's important that it is this different than how they normally stamp these diamond paintings, take a look at my prior video um, and I explain it in that video. Anyways, I'm going to get started on this and um, anyway, stay tuned. I'll keep you updated. Bye-bye, everybody.